Yo, what's going on guys, many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we are playing in the Plumstead Challenge Cup and we're playing against a team that we have played before but this is also like a newer, younger version. Last time we played them, it was very, very intense. And when I say intense, just look at these challenges. In the end, we did win that game either 7-1 or 7-0, one of those scores. But today, like I said, it's a younger, newer version, different version of the team in the Plumstead Challenge Cup. The starting lineup for today is as followed. You have John in goal, Jed at right back, Tolu and Reggie at centre back, Brad left back. The three in the middle is Marcel, Lamar and myself. Out wide on the left is Eric. Over on the right is Sam Bailey. And through the middle up top is Benny. On the bench today is just Lannery. First thing I want to say today is obviously you can see the numbers. You can see the numbers we have and obviously for many reasons so many people aren't here today. But that doesn't mean that we should let the standard that we set ourselves or try and strive to, to achieve drop. We need to make sure that all of us that are here we put in 110% more than is, is asked. They're not going to be able to keep up with us football wise but in terms of getting physical that's what they're going to be on. You know, that Millwall badge is deeper I told you. But honestly, in terms of how we play, when we set up, we just need to make sure that we are communicating. I think that's one of our biggest problems at times, communication. We don't communicate, we don't drag each other along, and I feel like that's where we fail at times. It's not going to be a pitch where it's going to be pretty to keep the ball at all times, but when we do have the chance to, let's play, let's make them run around. <coughs> Some of us have played Saturdays, we want to play Sundays and come and be blowing. So make sure that we take that into consideration. But from the all, from the start, it's just all about our work rate. Mm -hmm. Work rate, then we ball out. From the first minute, they're just gonna try to get into you. They know they, they know they can't play us. They know on with the ball on the ground, they can't do fuck all with us. They know that already. But what we have to do is do the basics right first and punish. Last week I spoke about it. Being clinical going forward. Front front people, front players. Sorry. Finish. Take shots. Test the keeper. It's like. I, all, I said it to the wingers last week oh, and, the, and the striker. T first 10, test him. Test him, keep testing, him. have shots. I don't give a fuck if it goes high wide. I don't care. Test that keeper. We need to get in the habit of, of shooting. Because if you don't shoot, it's like we get around the box and we get scared. Be brave, be ruthless, and be determined to smash these lot today. But it's not a lot of us today. So that means on the pitch, we back each other. Last week, Ruan got injured. We didn't hit one of their players. So first thing we do today, we hit one of their players. Mm -hmm. If they come back at us, we have to back each other. Uh -huh. If we miss a chance, who cares? We rally the troops, we go again. This is the game, like Marv said, where we have to finish these lot. First 20 minutes, 40 minutes, let them know that what kind of game uh -huh. am I in for. I came Saturday, Sunday to have fun. We didn't. Come, we come in to have fun, but three points or the next round at the end of it, yeah? We play football when we can. It's a short pitch, so be careful of the ball down the line. It has to be a channel, a uh, diag, like you have in your locker, Rich. And we just uh, take each other through the game. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Let's, uh, Good. Right, let's go. One, two, three. User. One, two, three. User. One, two, three. User. Let's go. I hope you guys have been enjoying Sunday League. Uh, we've tried to be there for you, especially those of you whose teams in real life are struggling in terms of like the teams you support. Um, but yeah, today up against Footscray. Uh, Tolu and their captain at the halfway line. You can see it's a cold day by the way they're moving. But yeah, we're ready to go. 
All right, so Benny and Sam get us underway. You can see already by the pitch, it's not the greatest. To be fair, I think we've had worse, we've definitely had worse, but you know it's always a bad indication when you see sand on the pitch. Uh, as Bradley goes to play a long ball forward, the linesman's flag's gone up for offside. I don't think so, we don't believe so. And uh, regardless, the referees ignored it, play has continued. But you know, um, let's take another look to see if it was actually offside. Bradley there, the clip, and you can see the big man at the back has played him onside. So if Sam could get that touch after the first good touch, it could have been something. It's a little tussle in the middle of the park. Tolu tries to win that. A good challenge from the 11. Uh, goes to the number three, skips away from Eric, gets it through Bradley's legs. Bradley's slipped there as well. Someone's put a banana on the pitch. It's so number three looking to get a ball into the box, but this time it's deflected off of me and Reggie takes charge of the situation. We've got a corner. Uh, Sam Bailey to take that from the left. It's in there, and I think the final touch might have been off Benny. That was a decent opportunity to get something. Another struggle for the ball between Eric and the 15 this time. Eric shrugs him off the ball there, calling for a free kick. The referee waves play on. Benny there with the challenge on the two, comes out to the edge of the box. Then I think it was running too far away from me, couldn't keep it down. Bradley on the ball for UTR, looking for a forward pass into Eric this time. Lamar and Eric not quite on the same wavelength there, or even if they were, they couldn't bring it off. Uh, good touch from the eight, it's passed a little bit behind. It's gone past Reggie though, comes to the 11. He drags his shot wide, but I think it's taken a little deflection off Bradley. He'll go behind for a foot spray corner. Eight goes across to take that corner. In towards the back post, it's a challenge there between Benny and the big man there. Uh, Reggie's gonna play it. We've got a throw in on the right hand side. It's a jet into Sam, Sam into me. I've tried to get away from the 15. It's gonna deflect here. I'm gonna win that uh, duel between myself and the number three. Uh, 15 hot on my heels. I've got a little bit of room there to go into. It's played into Eric now, and Eric gets his touches right and gets the final one perfect. He's rolled it into the bottom corner to give us the lead. And you can see he's excited with that. I don't know what the celebration is with Mark, but we are one nil up. I think Footscray fell to sleep a little bit there. Uh, didn't uh, clock Eric's run, and we've been able to capitalize there. That's a really good finishing don't underestimate that second touch that he took there to make sure he shifted it out of his feet so it's with me now 15's uh trying to chase me and get the ball away 16's not alive to eric's run but this second touch here to shift it and place it that's a really really good touch so that's one nil to utr always like to take the lead in games. It gives you that confidence and it eases you if you have any nerves. But this time Tolu's brought uh, one of their players down. That's a free kick to Footscray. Seven proceeds to take that into the box towards the back post again. Marcel's missed it, comes to the number eight now. Comes out to Jed and he's smacked it away. Throwing deep inside their half. The five goes to throw it back to the goalkeeper. I'm gonna close him down, he's come off me. He comes here to Benny. Benny here, maybe for a chance to swear it across and he's gotten it wrong. It's up in the air now. Seven looks to bring it down. Not the worst touch. Two comes across to help him out. Lamar wins the challenge in there. I've been caught with a little bit of a sore one. Benny's through in on goal though. Benny there loses his foot in another banana on the pitch and he slipped. Someone needs to take these off, man. We have a throw in now. Uh, Bradley to take that. Uh, Benny with the little flick on. Eric's in behind and Eric for his second. He's on form. He's on fire. And he's doing the entity. Uh, Eric with his second goal of the game there, composed, and that is a really, really composed finish. Like, honestly, the technique on there, perfect. And yet again, finding that far side uh, goalkeeper, no chance, to be honest. Bradley with the throw in, Benny uh, with the flick, and I think he might have glanced it, maybe not, but it goes to Eric either way, and the finish is perfect. <laughs> Maybe we ought to uh, play Eric Moore as a left winger. Uh, this time Tolly's played it out from the back to me. You've got quite a bit of space and time with Bradley with me. Uh, he's going to decide to go down the line and use Eric. Lamar tries to drop the shoulder there. I think he let it run too far, but I take over. And that's the only skill I seem to have in my arm really these days, the lack of ketter. Watch how many times I pull it off. We have a thrown on the right-hand side. It's uh, thrown into Sam. He looks to let it run. 11 gets their first 15s. Challenging with Lamar. Comes to our 15. Marcel sets it back to me. Uh, I'm looking for the gap through to Sam. Sam with a nice flick around the corner. Uh, linesman with the flag go up, goes up again. Uh, referee ignores it once more, but they're not playing to the whistle. Two's bringing the ball in field, uh, looking for maybe a way to get away. It's caught by myself. Uh, I've got Benny in front of me. Eric to my left. I've slipped. Someone's playing with the Mario Kart power ups. I tell you, Lamar's done well to get through. I'm going to play it through to Benny here. He's definitely on side. The flag's gone up anyway, but Be Benny's narrowly, 
narrowly missed it and it, it's not happening for him right now. Slipping, sliding and he's not finding the target the way he would like to. But definitely looks onside to me there, uh, question it if you like. It comes here to Benny and it's not far from the top corner, you know. Uh, number three on the ball, Marcel puts in a good tackle. It's Bradley, nice little turn. Oh my gosh! What on earth is that challenge? I don't know who made the number eight so angry there and he's complaining that Bradley might have scraped his boot down his face. What do you think? I think he might have a case, you know. I think Bradley's been a little bit sly as a result of the challenge. I think they're both in the wrong, in my opinion. Bradley's playing innocent. What do you guys think? Is it intentional? Is it not? So Bradley with a nice turn on the three. Eight's really angry and ooh, I think he might have a case. But to be fair, one thing doesn't happen without the other. 15 on the ball, looking to get away from Marcel. Good tackle, uh, Lamar helps him out. Lamar's gonna move it along to me. Uh, looking for an option through. Yet again, Benny's that option. He's got Eric in support, Sam in the middle uh, to maybe wait for an opportunity. He's gonna come back here to Eric. Yet again, hey, no, someone needs to stop this, man. That's how many slips have we done today already? Uh, that's to show you the state of the pitch. This time my shot's blocked by the five anyway. He's gonna come here to Sam. He's been fouled on the edge of the box, he believes. Uh, Jed picks it up over on the far side, looking to make something happen, and that left footed shot is wide. It's coming at us, uh, Tolu's gonna be first to clear it. Benny takes it on his chest. Benny takes another nice touch away from the five. They're chasing him down, but Benny's through it on goal. Surely he can finish this off. Oh my goodness, that is a wonderful solo goal from the big man Benny, getting his first UTR goal. He's missed all the easy chances today, but somehow he puts that away, and I don't know how, but it is fantastic. And fair play to him, he stuck at it. If you keep going, eventually it will fall your way. And that is a nice little bit of skill to take it away from the five can't get near him and to be honest if you go in a tussle with Benny anyway you're probably not going to win it look at the size of him he is absolutely a unit that's 3-0 then, and Foots Cray still yet to make us think about something really that's good strength from Marcel just to shrug that guy off the boards here with Eric. Eric's caught a late challenge from the five, Sam threw it on goal, he's been pulled back for offside though. A Foots Cray free kick in their half, it's a switch from the five, it's a pretty nice switch as well, Jeff gets up like a salmon. We've launched one forward, five does well, nice lean and header, so race the ball between myself and the two, sort of win it. Eric comes across and makes the two do the splits, that's the first time I've seen it since Ashley Cole and Ronaldo, actually no since Thomas against Spring Hill. This time it's through to Sam Bailey anyway, and that's beautiful from you. UTR. Eric with the nice skill to get past those players and Sam with the composure to apply the finish. That's 4-0. Uh, lovely stuff from UTR and we are fully, fully in control of this game. It's going to take a lot for them to get any sort of way back into this. Eric on fire right now. Like I said, we might have to play him on the left wing a lot more. Sam holds his run well, times it nicely. That guy's failed to get any sort of connection on the ball and it's an easy finish for him. Oh, I say easy, it's a nice finish from him in the end. Benny on the ball, uh, sees me to his right. I've got a little bit of room here to run into. I'm gonna use Sam instead. We're gonna have a uh, few numbers in the box. We've got three of us in the box. It's uh, three against four, really. Sam up against that guy there. Oh, another man doing the split. Sam plays it towards the back post and the goalkeeper gets there first. It comes here to the Bradley. Bradley looking to let one off on the left foot and it's just hit a foot's crazy. Uh, player. They have to do some tracking back now. It's the 17 bombing forward. He's uh, going to set the 7 free down the line. 7. Uh, been one of their liveliest players, if anything, so far, but he can't keep this cross on the pitch. 5 for Footscray with the clearance. It's uh, bouncing back towards our half. I'm going to get there first. The 8 just doesn't seem to like anyone, does he? Just trips me up there. I mean, I say that, but uh, shortly after the foul, he just didn't let go of me. Just, I don't know what he wanted. I told him my missus was over there, like, why are you holding me? Get off me. Uh, but, you know, what can you say? In a dangerous area for Footscray. Five goes with the clearance. It's out of play. It comes down to Marth. To be fair, I'll give that a 7 out of 10, Marth. That's not a bad touch. It did roll quite far away from you, but I hear it. I see the touch. Bro. John's just played this one out from the back. Marcel receives it nicely. He's going to play it to me. I'm going to remind the 11 how to do the cha-cha slide. Uh, going to knock it in field and we move on. They're looking to kickstart an attack. It's cut out by Jed. Jed has a little bit of room in front of him, trying to make something happen there. Get through that gap. Great challenge from the seven. Lamar in possession. Uh, nice little disguise pass through to Benny. Uh, challenge there between Marcel and a few of their players. Comes here to Eric, and he's on the hat trick. That's not the way to get. He knows. He knows what he was trying to do, though. Number three breaking down the line for Footscray. Marcel hasn't done enough to stop him. He's got Bradley in front of him, already beaten him once this game. Bradley wins the battle at this time. Comes across to the eight, who's just angry again and boots the ball at his own pair. And he if you see on the replay, watch me, I just start laughing as soon as it happens because I'm thinking, what is going on here? 
Bradley with another throw in for UTR. We have a couple numbers forward. It's uh, Benny challenging with the five fives. Header comes down to me. I tried to be clever and take it onto the left foot to shoot. It's not worked. It goes out wide and uh, Lamar's going to have to try and keep it in play for us. He's done so and he might be able to win us something. Yes, he's won us a corner. That corner to be taken from the right by Lamar. Into the box. Reggie's header down into Tolu. Back to Benny. His shot was going wide, I think. Three gets there first and they get away with it. Uh, just about. Uh, three goes only as far as Marcel. Opportunity for a challenge in the air. Seven doesn't really go for it. He's bottled it. Uh, Jed's loose touch is uh, recovered for by his pace and he's done well to burst past a few players. Flicks it up there. Goes for the header as well and uh, the 17's just lent into him. Jed's gone to ground. It looks like he may have hurt himself there. Referee's not really paid too much attention to it. Uh, but what do you guys think? I don't think that could be given for a penalty. I don't think I've ever seen those given. Uh, but it wasn't a nice fall. Benny on the ball, uh, keeps it in, finds Marcel. Marcel takes a touch out of his feet, uh, goes for it. Not a bad attempt, but quite central in the end. Bradley's just thrown this one into Benny. Uh, he's uh, given a lot of time and space, and I guess he's earned the respect that they've just given him uh, as uh, Lamar's bursting forward now. Lamar through the middle, Lamar going to find the far close. Oh, that's narrowly wide. That so easily could have been 5-0. Anyway, that's it for the first half. We're 4 up, totally in control, and it could definitely be more. All I'm going to say is we're playing amazing. Like We've bought them off the park, but one word that I'm going to keep saying throughout this whole half is ruthlessness. We have to be ruthless. All these chances that we're getting, I, want, I can't lie, it should be, we all know it should be like 7-0, 8-0. Let's just keep going. Let's, bro, the intensity doesn't drop. Every, I, I, I can't fault a lot of it, honestly. But let's just, in front of goal, let's be a bit smarter. A bit smarter. Eric, two great goals. Benny, <coughs> that time. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be they got nothing to lose, so be aware. But the thing Protect is yourself, we, we also have to be smart in terms of why don't we be aggressive as well? Uh -huh. yeah. Like we can afford to be aggressive. We don't always have to be like, oh ref this, oh ref that. Let's stamp our authority on it. And let's get more goals because these guys think they can pop it against us, you know? They're trying to They're play trying. short. So what Marf is saying in terms of ruthlessness, not just in terms of us scoring, yeah, yeah, yeah. but energy, yep, yep. energy, pressure. Because their touch is boggy. When we press them, they just don't know what they to do. They haven't got anything, bro. They're trying to play BPD with guys that can't BPD. It's disgusting. <laughs> bro, it's not FM, bro. Yeah, right. It's not FM, bro. <laughs> All players defender, by the way, guys. <laughs> All players defender, so something else. <laughs> I don't want not, bro, back four. Got it so far, but we don't we don't concede today. Whatever happens now, it, the minimum it ends is 4-0. Second half is underway. Number eight who likes no one gets us going. And here we are. Sam uh, going down the right hand side. He's got the seven with him, he's got the 17 as well. I'm telling you, someone is playing Mario Kart. Someone's using these power-ups, I'm telling you. As uh, Sam looks to drag across across the box, and no one's really there. Eric tries to get the ball before the 11 comes back to me. Made the 11 do the splits there as well. Five goes in with the challenge, and in the end, he was really not happy with my challenge there. He said that I went to go and stud him, and I went to go and hurt him intentionally. I told him, yo, whatever I did was accidental. I was only going for the ball. I promise you, once that challenge happened, he became the angriest man on the pitch, even worse than the number eight as we clear their corner. Footscray breaks down for them. Uh, comes to me, I've got Sam out wide in space. Decide to use him. 17 does well to get his body in front there and I think Sam's challenged him there. It's clumsy, I think Sam's also stepped on his hand there as well. So a bit of a tussle between him and the 15 but they made up so quickly, that was quite strange. But 17 has done so, I think Sam stepped on his hand and I didn't realise that on the day. That's the first time I've actually seen it. Very sore one, apologies. Uh, good work from the 11 anyway. Tolu comes across, it's a challenge from the angry number eight and uh, the referee's blown up for a free kick. Tolu got caught a bit there as well. Seven on the ball. He's got Marcel and Jed to beat. Seven slips on the ball. Referee decides that's a free kick. That free kick to be taken from the left uh, by the number eight. It's dealt with initially and uh, John then further punches it away. Benny can clear. Captain Tolu has a job to do here. Calm as you like. You know he's going to do it. Number three goes running off to the sideline. Uh, Tolu still has possession. Uh, he looks for a ball forward. It's a good ball. Good touchdown for, uh, by Sam. He's got 17 in front of him. Also got the big man there as well. 18. Five comes across and absolutely cleans out his own player. I have to say, in terms of just strict Sunday League aggression, I think Footscray are the most Sunday League team I've ever played. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's just stuff like this. Look, 18, life on the line. Tried to grab Eric there as well. Nine goes in there as well. Eight's pretty angry too. Comes to me. Eight leaves a little clip on me there. Comes to Jed. Little trip there. Comes out the five on Jed. That, do you know what I mean? Like just stuff like that. It was tackle after tackle, challenge after challenge. It just gets like that. 
Anyway, it moves on from there. Lamar looking to find Eric. It's a bit behind. And what's that banana number six someone slipped on? Seven runs into Tolu anyway. Uh, and he's going to keep it in play. But Eric looking to good tracking back. So he's not involved in the move. Eric on the overlap. Uh, Tolu looks to go on his own maybe here. Uh, he's lost his foot in at the vital moment. 18 does well. Three on the ball. And he's demonstrated that he's got some feet there. That's far too easy from Lamar and uh, Marcel though. Marcel does well to recover with that challenge. Lamar on the ball. Uh, away from the 15. He's brought down. Free kick. He's come now here to Eric. Uh, he's got me in field. I've got Marcel there. Look to play Marcel. 15's covered that, so I turn out and go the other way. Look who's charging in. It's the angry number five now. And I was just like, what is he doing? At that point, he's like, he stopped playing football and just wanted to hurt people. Substitution superstar Lanray returning to the pitch after months, maybe years. I don't know. He's not played for us for a while. Tolu on the ball, uh, bringing it out from the fence, plays it into me, that's a terrible first touch, I've played it off my other knee as well, uh, but we've recovered possession, comes here, 15, send him gift shopping, uh, 11 tracking back, little clip there just to put me out my stride and I lose possession. Eric bringing it forward for UTR, still no goals in the second half and you'd have thought that we'd have run away with this one even more, Jed going slipping and sliding, up against the number 3, comes out on top, Jed has the 17 in front of him, uh, plays it back to Sam here, Sam with the shot straight at the goalkeeper, he's going to come here to Lanray, going to try and keep this alive, uh, it's with me, going to play it back out wide to Bradley and maybe we have to restart the attack. Lamray's late run. I don't think we're on the same wavelength then we might take a little bit of time to get up to speed. It's Eric keeping the uh, move alive and playing it to me. I've tried to find Lamray and it's cut out. So uh, a throw in for Jed this time. But Eric uh, not concentrating and he's missed the ball. Uh, three gets past him a little bit too easily. Three looking to get through this gap. I put in a challenge there. The three's not happy with it. I don't know if it's me or Tolu but he's complaining about something. One thing that I have to respect about these guys is when a challenge was putting on their players they were going for the next guy that touched the ball in the red shirt and that happened to be me that time. From that free kick, Sam looking to get a delivery into the box, straight into the keeper's hands. Benny's on the ball and in case you're wondering why he's wearing number 100, he forgot his shirt and he ended up wearing Marth's one. Marth doesn't really play so that's why he got number 100. Uh, but yeah, I thought the referee's blown for a foul there. I thought I heard a whistle, which I'm pretty sure, but it's probably from another pitch. Lamre does well to win the ball back for us uh, with Lamar as well. Steaming in again, is that number 5. They've got some defending to do. It's Lamre up against this number 4. He's uh, backtracking. It's not a position you want to be in against Lamre. It's a slippery surface so it's not easy to do these twists and turns either. Uh, this time Lamry's played a little bit too far to my right there and I didn't really read it well at all. So we have to chase him and hunt this 15 down. We're trying to do just that. Uh, it gets a little bit of jam or luck. We thought it got out of play just there, but he's done well to get out of the situation. Tries to find the nine and the pass is behind him. Play continues on. Tolu gets the ball to Eric. Nine's chasing back. They have a lot of uh, work rate, these guys, I have to say. Eric there. And this is the challenge of the number three. He's not happy with the challenge anyway. And 17 with a bit of a loose pass. It's Benny. Benny looking to play to Eric. Eric might have just been narrowly offside. Eric there decides not to shoot there. He said to Sam in the end and he's missed out on his hat trick. Eric on the ball once more. He's got Jed on the overlap. Number three and 17 quickly shuffling across to maybe close off his options down the line. Jed's gone in field this time. Jed goes away from the 18 as well. Jed's still going. Jed going towards the box. Jed there. Oh, everything but the final finish. He's blazed it. The run was good. Cutting inside, decided not to go down the line. 11 couldn't get close to him. Uh, 18 goes to ground, fakes the five, sends him. And uh, this time he sends the ball into oblivion, really. Lamar on the ball, uh, plays it into Eric. Lovely turn away from the 11. Their captain's been getting it all game. This time I can't take the ball with me. 15 takes over, I have to track back. Uh, Lamar comes across and does well to help me out. Bradley also. Sam's in possession now. Uh, he's got me with him. Uh, go for the 1-2. Sam, oh, that's nice feet there to get away from the 11. That's a free kick. 15's going to knock this one back to Eric, who decides to play quickly. I don't know why he'd give the ball to Eric, really. Sam uses him as decoy. Sam goes for the shot, and it's not far from going into that uh, left post. It's swerved away. Number three on the ball, uh, up against Eric. Decent feet yet again. Gets the run on Eric for a moment. Eric trying to track back. Eric slips to the ground there, and he's uh, tumbling and sliding everywhere. Uh, <laughs> little bit of back and forth between him and the number three uh, just joking there but somehow Eric's come out with a yellow card and for this watch this for slipping there and the ball touching his hand Eric's gotten a yellow card where the referee got that from I really don't know I feel like teams think when they do something to us we're not going to keep it in the video absolutely gets kept in he's taken Eric's ankle sent Sam for a hot dog megs him as well whilst doing that and what the hell was going on I don't know what I did there to be honest but let's take another look at what just went on there so eight looks like he's going outside sends Eric almost takes his ankle takes Sam with the clean megs as well I have to say fair play 
15 for Footscray, looking to cut in. Stopped by Benny. Lamre takes over. Lamre's got Eric with him. A little one two between them. Lamre looks to go forward there. Five again. Looking for a lot more than the ball there. He's going to come back here to Jed. Off the ball. Lamre swiped the five off the ball. And I feel like he's had it coming, to be honest. He's been going in at everyone. Again, not to say that it's right, but two can play that game. It's Benny on the ball. Uh, got that five onto him. Five dispossesses him. Comes to the nine. Nine looks to play it through. Tolu's been pulled up for a handball. Standing over that free kick is the three. Goes for goal. Not a bad attempt. It's one of their few attempts on goal. Uh, here with the number three. Oh, ho, ho, Megs on Jed. It goes through to the number eight. I feel like the Megs was meant for the three to continue on. But it ended up being a pass to the eight. But Jed got it there. Mr. Febreze, a.k.a. Lamar, looking to spray it out wide to Lamre. Five brings it down. I wouldn't say he'd be my best friend, but I trust him to be my pilot. Uh, he's landed that lovely. It's uh, up against Lamre. He sent Lamre uh, slide in as well. He's played it here to, I think, the number four, that is. He's played a pass in field, but that's loose. It's going to come to me. I've got the five in front of me. He can't take me down that time. I'm in the box. 18 goes sliding in as well, beating him. Comes here to Sam, and it's cut by the 17. Uh, brought down here by Lamar. A little bit of a tussle, and this turns into the most Sunday League 10 seconds of football you see. Just fouls after fouls, tackles after tackles, uh, misplaced pass after misplaced pass, diving everywhere and the eight finishes it off with a stiff challenge but he won the ball. This is most definitely the most gritty game we've had in a while. Uh, a little trick there by Lamre on the two, referee hasn't seen it and there's a foul on me. They are fuming though, number two is not happy, looking like Nightscape. Lamar looks to take that free kick towards the box, I think Benny's taken it away from Tolu there. Uh, I don't think there's much left to happen in this game. It's uh, gone off the pitch there and the referee has blown the whistle. But yeah, a big, big gritty game, challenge is flying in everywhere at times from both sides as well a uh, bit of naughtiness from both sides and uh, it just happens sometimes uh, but in the end you know we shake hands we laugh about it and it's the game done as long as it doesn't continue beyond uh, the pitch it's all fine so yeah that's it for another week of Sunday League hopefully you've enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button for me if you have make sure to subscribe to Manny Plus and check out the Under the Radar FC channel too we have content flying out everywhere but yeah leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys soon peace